hi fairies and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be explaining to you guys my whole entire spirit experience with um getting colonics um waist training and getting my carboxy shots i pretty much do all three of these things to stay consistent with keeping my belly down um i will tell you guys i do have a case of fibrosis if you guys don't know what fibrosis is that's basically when you have a gathered um, amount of scar tissue on your stomach area or anywhere that you pretty much got um, a liposuction unfortunately I have come down with the case of fibrosis on my stomach it's not super severe like a lot of other um, people have gotten but I do have it so I kind of have to take a little bit more extensive um, measurements to make sure that I am keeping my stomach down I'm keeping getting my massages and I'm also getting carboxy shots to help with all the scar tissue underneath my skin I stopped going to the other um, body contouring place I was going to in Philadelphia um, just to keep it real cute and short I just felt like in my first stage of when I came back from surgery they were very good for giving me the treatments that I got um, in that particular stage but once I started developing into getting in a different stage of my um, lipo post-op I just felt like they just was not giving me what I really needed to avoid getting the fibrosis but I just decided to go to someone else that I felt like would be able to give me exactly what I need treat you know my whole entire case and make sure that i'm getting snatched uh, moving forward so the first thing i want to talk about is a waist training i'm pretty sure you guys know all about waist training um i was so excited to talk about using j scope because from my first surgery vlog two i was telling you guys that i was waiting for my j scope belt to come in and this is before i even got sponsored by j scope um now i am sponsored by them but before when i first ordered from them i was not um i want to talk about them because it's just a different type of level sis okay i'm wearing the j scope belt right now she refers to her belts as fitness belts and not waist trainers but i do wear them as waist training because i'm not working out right now um obviously eventually when i get a little bit more healed i fix on for situation um, I'm getting my massages I'm getting my colonics and all that stuff um, when my boob starts healing I have a lot going on you guys I really do but you know I have to take a little bit more precautions when it comes to me working out and stuff until I start to heal a little bit more I probably end up working out about like my fourth fifth sixth month of post-op but I'm literally fresh seven weeks almost eight weeks out of post-op so to some people that's very fresh so I'm just taking my time and easing my time into getting more into working out later on but right now I'm not working out these are the things that I'm doing to stay fit quote unquote keeping my stomach down fixing my fibrosis situation and just making sure that my stomach is looking flat when I'm wearing clothes when I'm going out or anything like that so I'm wearing a J scope belt right now let me just show it for you guys really quickly I'm going to end up taking this off in a little bit but I just wanted to show you guys um, what it looks like because I want to take it off to show you guys my measurements um, before I go and get my colonic and my carboxy shots but for right now I just want to show you guys how the J-Skull belt looks I did get it in gold because I felt like it was just like a lot more cuter but this is how it looks let me show you guys the back really quick one thing I can say about this J-Scope is I love the way that it snatches my hips. You guys know I did go and get surgery. I got 360 lipo. So the problem with having lipo is that the second stages, which is pretty much the second month into the sixth month, are prime time stages for you guys to waist train, um, prime time stages for you guys to get your massages and anything post-op because this is the time that is like the most important because you are like really prone to having anything mold to your skin waist trainers working out fitness belts all the type of stuff because this is how you're going to get that shape that you guys have always wanted and the whole purpose of you going to get freaking liposuction another thing i want to let you guys know is that i love the material on this i feel like the material on this is like so thick it's just so good that's how you know it's like a really good brand let me show you guys two other um waist training belts for you guys to have a comparison 
So this is another waist training belt that I had before from Amazon. It was about like $25. If I'm not mistaken, the J-Skull belt is $59.99 on sale. So this is another waist training belt. But if you guys can see the material on this J-Skull, it's like super thick. It's like super nice. I feel like it reminds me of a Colombian waist trainer. I'm going to show you guys in one second. But this is another uh, fitness belt that literally looks just like the J-Skull because it has like you know the straps and everything but if you guys can see the material on this it's nothing it's literally nothing like this is not sucking you in this is not waist training you this is not doing anything for your life absolutely not it's literally like a cloth spandex material it does not suck you in like how the j sculpt does that's why i was so excited to try this because not only is it like a waist training belt but it's also a fitness belt you can work out with this as well you can work out with this but i mean it's not going to do anything for your life sis Another thing I want to talk about is the boning. Um, with these type of belts, especially the cheaper ones, you're going to have like that super stiff boning inside. The j Sculpt doesn't have that at all. Like it's not stabbing me. You can tell it's very good material. Um, the top of it is very thick. So you're not going to have that boning um, type of um, thing happening, especially like underneath your boobs. While with this, the material on this is so thin that eventually the bony literally starts sticking out like you guys can see right here and then it starts freaking stabbing me and no one has time for that. One other thing I want to show you guys is this is a real Colombian waist trainer and the way that you're going to know it's real Colombian is because of the material on it. So if you guys can see it's like an ashy type of um, look to it. That's how you guys know that these are real Colombian waist trainers because all Colombian materials have like that ashiness to it. Now, there was nothing really wrong with me wearing this waist trainer, but the only problem that I always had with it was that the back of it was just always scrunching up. And you guys can literally see like where it will start to scrunch up from the pattern on this waist trainer. That's one thing I could not stand. With the J-Sculpt, I don't have that problem at all. Like I have nice, good back support. It's not scrunching up and irritating my back at all. That's why I just love this so much. Because like I said, you have the benefit of waist training. Um, it's snatching you on your side, snatching you to your right sculpt. And you also can work out with it because it is a fitness belt. Um, she refers to it, like I said, as a fitness belt more so than a waist trainer. But sis... This is just everything and more, okay? I pretty much wear the J-Scope every single day. It's very comfortable. I go and run my errands in it. I um, sometimes sleep in it if I know I have an event the next day. Um, that's how comfortable this thing is. And I love the fact that it's like a long torso and it goes over my hips. It's not one of those short toes or belts. I do have like slightly a short torso, but because my hips go out so wide, I love the fact that it just shapes me just so good. It just goes with all my curves and it doesn't suffocate me in any areas at all i can't wait to like work out in this and like when i get healthier to start working out because sis this is about to sculpt me this is about to sculpt me on a different type of level okay i did get a size large i believe the largest are between like 33 and 35 inches i could be mistaken but um i do have a large so i'm going to be able to wear it for a pretty long time eventually when i start getting smaller which is going to be like a 32 inch i believe those are a medium my goal is to be a medium i want to be between a 32 and a 29 so as long as i can get a medium and stay in the medium that's my happy place. I don't want to be anything smaller than a 30. I do have very bra like um, shoulders and a big back if you guys could not see. Um, so because I am so wide, I'm just a wide thick girl. Okay. I'm just naturally, naturally sis is just wide. Okay. So um, because I am so wide, I think if my waist gets any more smaller than like a 29, I would just look kind of off. You know what I mean? So now I want to talk about colonics. Let me take my J-Scope off and then do my measurements for you guys on camera because I want to do my measurements on camera for you guys before I go and get my colonics and my carboxy shots and then come back the next day and show you guys my measurements then for you guys to be able to see that this shit works, okay? So this is how my stomach looks right now. Let me just pull my um, sides down for you guys really quick. So I'm going to do my measurements on camera because I want you guys to see what my measurements are and 
all that stuff. So my smallest part of my waist is a 34. My lower waist is a 35 and a half. And my upper waist is a uh, 36 and a half. So these are my measurements. Like I said, my measurements just fluctuate all the time. I'm gonna show you guys the side really quick. This is what my side is looking like. But you guys can see that my stomach is like, it's hard, you guys. Like I understand I have abs, but if I had abs, this side over here shouldn't be that hard. Like all of this should not be hard like this. And especially this side, this side I have a ton of fluid on this. Like I should not be able to like bounce this like this. You see all that? That's all fluid, you guys. So as you guys can see, there's a lot to be fixed with my new body contouring place. Like I said, I'm not going to talk bad. I'm not going to bash at other people that I was going to before. But I just think that I just prefer to go to someone that's a little bit more educated with post-op, especially clients like me that has the problems that I have because I just don't think I was gonna be able to get that where I was going before. I just wanna to go to someone that was a little bit more experienced with post-op patients, especially with people that have fibrosis and all that stuff because I do have to get carboxy shots. And you know, I kinda wanna trust someone that's a little bit more experienced and um, well-educated in that type of stuff because you are injecting needles into someone. So, you know, I just decided to go somewhere else. I just want to keep it like that. Now I'm going to talk about the colonics. You guys saw me do my measurements on camera. Like I said, I wanted to give that as evidence to show you guys that it does work with me getting my colonics, me wearing my J-sculpt, and me getting my carboxy shots. I'm going to do my measurements again after I get my colonic the next day to show you guys how small I get when I go through this whole entire process. Um, like I said, any given day I can fluctuate. I will be super skinny. One day, literally yesterday I was a 33 and now I'm back to being a 34, 36. Like it's so freaking annoying, but what are you gonna do, sis? So the place that I go and get my colonics is actually in Philadelphia, PA. It is called Internal Wellness Center. Um, the owner is Cheryl. She is so freaking nice, you guys. Not only is she just so nice, her staff is so nice. Her place is so clean. You think about a colonic location and you just think just ew. Like, you know what I mean? Like you just walk in, you feel like it's gonna be stinking a whole lot. It's not gonna be, you know, super pleasant to the nose, you know, and I just, I was blown away. The place is just so clean. It smells so good. When you walked in there um not only that i just felt like cheryl was just so informative not only she was was she informative but she actually has nutritionists there as well so if anyone wants to go there and they want to have a good diet plan and someone to tell them about what good foods to eat and stuff like that she does offer that as well not only that i felt like her workers were um really good and educated as well um everyone was super nice i had so many questions y'all know when it comes to me with questions i have 10 million questions to ask when it comes to stuff like this especially when it has to do with my body i want to ask everything i need to ask okay and i just felt like she answered every single question like bam 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 you know what i mean and i just felt like she was just she just made me feel a lot more comfortable because when you think about colonic you're taking something and you're sticking it up your hoo-ha not hoo-ha but you're sticking it up your buttocks okay you're sticking it up your anal cord and i just feel like it's just an uncomfortable type of feeling um not only are you sticking something up your butt but you are having water flow consistently for about 50 minutes so it's very uncomfortable the first time it's very weird it's like you don't know what to do it's like it's a lot going on it's like you pushing out you pulling in it's like it's it's a lot and I feel like you guys really won't understand it until you go and get it and experience it for yourself. So um, I do say that you guys should go and get your first colonic. It is uh, absolutely amazing. I will dive a lot more deep into it um, as I go on. So if you're going to be getting colonics as often as me, I'm going to tell you guys my regimen and what I do and why. I do get um, one colonic a week moving forward. But when I first got my colonic, she recommends for you guys to get at least three within the first seven to ten days days um that's exactly what i did i got my first done i got my second back to back and then i got my third on the eighth day so i was still within that window 
And I will tell you guys, after I got my, fir my third colonic, I felt a lot more at ease. I felt like it went a lot more smoother than the other times that I went. The second time was a little bit, you know, it was a little bit more uncomfortable for me. I felt like the first time was uncomfortable, but the second time was a little bit more uncomfortable because it was like, I just felt like, I don't know, I just had to get used to it. And I felt like because I gave myself a little bit more days and then I got it done again for the third time, I felt like my third time was the best. I was a lot more relaxed. I was just literally chilling, sitting, watching the voice on my phone. I had my AirPods in. Um, I was just, it was a lot more smoother. I felt like, you know, the flow of everything was a lot more smoother. And I just felt a lot more... I felt so much better my third time than I did my first and second. Um, not only that... Um, it just pretty much depends on your budget. It depends on how often you want to go. It depends on all these other factors to say what type of regimen that you should do. Um, so my regimen will be, I went um, for three days out of seven to 10 days in the first week. After that, um, you can either choose to go once a month you can go, you choose to go once a week, you can choose to go twice a week, whatever you feel is best and what you want to do as far as your budget and what type of results that you want. I'm just trying to look snatched and, um, about June. It's March now. I feel like I go once a week. I take my supplements. I take my vitamins. I continue getting my massages. I continue getting my carboxy shots. I will be at my goal by about June. Um, I will talk to you guys about the supplements that I do take. For the people that feel like colonics are just unhealthy, you just should not be getting them as often. They are not good for your body. You are absolutely right because you whatever you take out you have to put back in and that's just life in general with anything that you get you know getting surgery isn't really good for you because it's um you know foreign objects and stuff going in your stomach and taking things out anything that is unnatural to the body is going to be unhealthy for you that's not really it's it, it is what it is you know what i mean but you choose to do what you want to do with your body i choose to get um carboxy shots I choose to get massages, body contouring massages, and I choose to wear waist trainers and get colonics because I have a goal in my head of what I want to get and I'm not going to continue to pay all this money to get surgery and all this stuff when I'm not going to get the results that I want. So you have to take necessary steps to get the results that you want and that's just life in general, you know? Um, and I'm going to show you guys all these supplements that I do take to get my nutrients and my vitamins and all that stuff back into my body and um, what comes what they are and when I take them and why. So the first thing that I do in the morning time is I take my Flora Max. I do take the 50 billion. I believe they have a 30 billion as well. These are or natural. This is organic. And these two are vegan for anyone that is interested and want to know. These help with my constipation. It is gluten, soy, and um dairy free so it does support my immune system and once i take it once daily it does help with keeping me um regulated it keeps my constipation regulated and makes sure that you know basically i do not have constipation and in conjunction with taking my other pills so i take this once in the morning time and this is a probiotic um, when you're going to be getting colonics, you're taking away a lot of toxins and bacteria um, in your stomach. They pretty much equivalent one um, colonic to 20 bowel movements. So being that I am super constipated all the time, I know I talked about this in my surgery vlog one and two. My problem when I got surgery and even before I got surgery was that I always dealt with the uh, matter of being constipated all the time. Um, be, having a probiotic will help regulate and make sure that you are not constipated it will regulate your whole bowel movements um, and it will just make sure that you are being a lot more healthy and bringing the nutrients and stuff back to your body because when you do get colonic you are taking out a lot of bad toxins and sometimes you can take out um, bacteria that you need for your body so when you get your bone probiotic you're putting those good bacteria back into your body so that you are not taking it away. Now, if you get colonics and you don't have a good healthy diet, you're not eating your vegetables, you're not eating your um your fruits, you're not drinking water, you're not taking your supplements, and you're not doing your waist training, you're pretty much defeating the entire purpose. You know, it's no point in you paying the money to get a colonic. I believe Cheryl's prices are pretty reasonable. Her one colonic is $55, if I'm not mistaken, but she does have packaged deals and I believe she does take certain insurances as well 
So if you guys are interested in that, definitely go ahead and check that out and ask her about these things as well. Um, and one other thing I did not tell you guys is it's black owned, okay? It's black owned, it's a very successful business. Show has been in business for 12 years and before she's been at this location, she was in, in the whole colonic business in general for 25 years, but she was at this location for 12 years. So if she was not doing a good job, I would say she would not be there still. She's been there for a very lengthy amount of time. She knows her shit, she knows what she's doing. And you know, if Kalani's wasn't really that good for you, why is it that people go so consistently? When I tell you that people was going in and out of this place consistently like clockwork, this is like a thing. It was a thing. Like I was appalled. I was literally appalled when I was seeing how many people was coming in and out. And I literally had to ask this random girl that was sitting next to me. I asked her, I was like, hey, like, you know, is this something that is really, this, this is what you do? She's like, yeah, girl, I come here once a week. One of the other girls I asked, she comes here twice a week. So this is something that people literally are doing. It's a healthy thing. You have to do it correctly, but it's a healthy thing. Please understand that. So the first thing I do is take my probiotic. Then I go ahead and take my MAG-07. This is just a oxygen cleanser. Um, it is super gentle, very fast acting, and I take it overnight. So usually people start with doing this about taking about three to five pills at nighttime. I only started taking three. Um, I just feel like this just helps with regulating you when you're not getting your colonics. It's basically like a colonic on the go for the time that you're not getting the actual physical colonics um, at the clinic. So as long as you're taking your probiotics, you're taking your cleansers as far as your um, your oxygen um, colonic in a jar, this obviously is not going to give you the benefits or the, this obviously is not going to give you the results as you would if you went to the actual colonic clinic, but this does regulate you and make sure that you are going consistently, having a nice fluid bowel movement while you're not actually getting a colonic at the actual clinic. And then the last thing that I do is that I take my digestive enzymes. These are plant-based um, and this is just good for taking when you are eating. I take this every single time I'm about to take my meal and it is good with heartburn, gas, bloating, um, indigestive and nutrient uptake. So like I said, as long as you guys are taking your nutrients and your supplements, you're putting them back into your body um, in the meantime, in between every single time you get your colonics, you will be fine, sis. You are not going to die from getting colonics. It's actually very healthy for you, especially, especially for females because it helps regulate your yeast. You avoid getting yeast infections. You avoid, avoid getting bacterial infections a lot. This helps with having your JJ stay regulated and your colon stay regulated. So it's not always a bad thing to help um, clean your body out. It's not at all. It's not at all. So I just want to tell you guys a little bit about the whole entire experience. Um, obviously, like I said, the owner and the workers there were just so knowledgeable and just so experienced and just really just make you feel very calm. It is a very uncomfortable and awkward situation. So you do have a little small tube going up your bottom. Um, after that, you kind of just put a lever down to make the water flow go inside of you. Um, that's why she recommends for you guys to go about at least three times within the first couple of days because every single time you go, the water shoots up um higher and higher into your colon so the first time it'll probably just get all the surface things that was like pretty much like closest to your rectum after that it just shoots up a little bit more and then after the third time it shoots up a little bit more and that's why i told you guys i felt like the third time was like my best time because by that time i felt like the water shot up my colon a lot further than the other two times it was a lot smoother it was a lot easier to come out and it just felt like a little bit more relaxed than the other two times prior to prior than that. They do give you a warm pad to put on your lower abdomen when you are getting your colon. Obviously they come into the room beforehand. One other thing I want to tell you guys about is I just felt like this clinic just left you alone. A lot of times I feel like a lot of these clinics or you know I don't really know I never really experienced at the other clinics but I've heard stories and just seen like on YouTube and stuff a lot of times other clinics they will be in a room with you and at this clinic I felt like they just left you alone 
she didn't come and bother me. They do have a bell where you can ring if you need any assistance, but they don't come knocking on the door and barging into the room, you know, evading your privacy and stuff like that. They leave you alone, let you do your thing for 50 minutes and then come back when you're done. Um, you can also rinse off. I don't want you guys to feel like you're just going to be absolutely disgusting. Um, after you have your 45 minute session, you do what you need to do. You clean your bowels and all that stuff. There is a nozzle on the side that you can rinse off with. So you're not going to be leaving the clinic and then be stinking like having you know do those things stuff on your butt or anything <laughs> you are able to rinse off because there is a hole um a hose right next to the actual um right next to the lever where you turn on the hot water the the water isn't going to be extremely hot to where it's like oh my god it's burning it is warm water it's not going to be cold water it's like soothing water it's like you know warm bath water it's warm shower water it's like soothing so um you don't even feel it when it goes up inside of you um until eventually i feel like you don't start to feel your bowels start to move until at least five minutes so the first five minutes that you have the water coming on the first five minutes that you have the water coming on, it's really not that bad at all. But then after that, that's when you're starting to start to feel the cramping. That's when the warm pads start to come in. That's when the relaxation needs to start coming in because after about five minutes, that's when it's it, it gets real, sis. But it's much needed, like I said, because afterwards, you just feel so light. You just feel so free. You just feel so light. You just feel like, you know when you just take a big bowel movement and then afterwards you're like, oh, my gosh like you're just so freaking happy that all of that is outside of you and it's not in you anymore and it just feels so much more relaxing there is a small mirror on the side of the bed when you get in there you will see it some of her clinic um, locations like inside you aren't going to see a mirror some of them you actually see uh, will see a visual of a freaking screen of you seeing your bowels move now I wasn't really that really comfortable with seeing it on a full-fledged screen in front of me that was a little bit too much for me I actually prefer to have it be on the side where I can see it in the mirror if I felt like looking or not the first time I was like very intrigued because you just have to you can't help but to look because it's like oh my god like you know everything with all of that was inside of me is that serious like oh my gosh like sis so the first time I went and got my colonic it was actually very funny because I just could not stop looking like it's like you looking and be like oh my god like you know you don't want to see poop just flying through a tube but then you can't help but to look at it and just be like oh my gosh like I was eating that bad like ew like I need to start coming here more often and it's like so intriguing it just makes you just not want to stop looking at it i don't know it's just so weird you guys go get your first colonic and then tell me if you just kept looking at it or not because i kept looking at it i don't know so the whole experience basically is like pretty simple you put a tube up your butt the water goes in, it flows into your colon, you squeeze your butt cheeks because after that you want to make sure that the water is being trapped inside of you. Um, when you start to feel like you have to do a bowel movement, that's when you say quote unquote release. Um, and that's basically you just literally pooping. You're not pooping on yourself, you're not pooping all over the table. There is a drain. So there is a drain beneath you and like I said, when I go into the colonic place in the clinic, I will be able to show you guys everything visually but I just want to explain everything beforehand because like I said um, I've recorded this video about three times already and I just felt like my first three times recording it it just was not enough information for you guys I just felt like I just literally went to the colonic place um, just talked about my experience but didn't really tell you guys exactly information that you really needed so that's why I'm doing a sit down talking to you guys first and then we will go to the colonic place afterwards so um, when you're sitting down you're laying down and you have the water shooting up inside you you want to clench your buck cheeks and make sure that the water is being trapped inside your stomach will start to like fill up with water it will start to get bigger and it will literally feel like you're like becoming pregnant slowly and when you start to feel like you have to um poop or release as they like to say that's when you just go my first time with that whole entire experience i was like whoa sis like i just felt like water was going to get everywhere poop was going to get everywhere like it was very crazy that's why i said you guys have to experience this for yourself to understand exactly what i mean and what i'm talking about but when you release the water which is like oh my gosh but it's not going to get everywhere you're literally laying on like a bath like a bathtub practically 
it literally goes down a drain and then that's when you start to see everything go into the, into the clear tube where the mirror comes in um you do have a nozzle on the side like i told you guys you're not going to be walking away with poop stains and stuff on your buttocks um you will be able to rinse off when you're done and then you just feel free as freeze a bird sis just freeze a bird <laughs> they do say that it pretty much equivalents to about three to four pounds of release every single time that you go so i haven't really measured myself up until this point um i've been pretty much going off of inches on my waist i haven't measured myself as far as weight yet because i am still bloated i still do have fluids in me i still do have so much stuff going on with my stomach that i don't want to start to measure i don't want to start to weigh myself until after about at least my 34th month of my post stop um but i am going off of inches so they do say that it pretty much equivalates to about 34 pounds every single time that you go like i told you guys go ahead and get the colonic and then let me know your experience and how much weight that you do end up losing every single time you go and get them but um they do say it's about 34 pounds some people it's like about six pounds depending on how much you have like caught up into your stomach will depend on how much weight that you lose now, last thing I want to talk about before I start to go ahead and do my vlog is talking about my carboxy therapy shots. Um, if you guys are wondering what they are, I'll probably put like a little snippet or something in this video, but it's completely safe. It's completely FDA approved. This is not a new thing. This is not new to the whole entire anything. They are very normal. Um, they pretty much use these as far as treating cellulite. Uh, stretch marks as well as uh, scar tissue so like I did tell you guys I do have a case of having fibrosis in my stomach that's why my stomach looks so lumpy right now it is not a pleasing to the eye it's not terrible I've seen other cases of people having fibrosis that's a lot worse than mine is mine isn't that terrible I'm happy I caught it when I did um, but I do have it in my stomach that's why my stomach is so hard um, and I just don't like the lumpiness of it so I got my first treatment of a boxy shots about um two days ago i go and get my second treatment today i did book about six treatments of it they said that you start to see results about the seventh and the seventh between the seventh and tenth time that you do to get the carboxy shots but even after getting in my first time i see a completely huge difference um i am going to a new lady her name is um isabel at katika body contour in elizabeth new jersey if you guys are in the new jersey area definitely go ahead and check her out i will leave her information down below because she's just that good um with her body contouring packages she does offer about seven steps per um body contouring I know she offers um, compression, she offers body uh, hand massage, she does do a little bit of wood therapy, she does do cavitation light bulb, which is basically burning fat using a tool, she does do the carboxy shots, she does do red light, she does literally seven to eight steps within her body contouring packages. While when I was at um, Contour Body Studio in Philadelphia, um, their $85 only consisted of having massages. Now I'm not going to sit here and compare the two. They are two completely different types of, um, you know, post-op massages. I felt like Contour Body Studio really just focused on body contouring. I feel like they are a lot better off with patients that were not really non-surgical, more so than post-op. Um, I can just say from my own experience, I felt like, you know, I don't know if I got fibrosis from not getting the proper treatment that I got from Contour Body. But I can say that I feel like with my new lady, Isabel and Elizabeth, I feel like she has a, she caters a lot more to post-op patients because her packages offer so much because when you are post-op, it's like a delicate flower. We're so delicate, you know, and we've had surgery. We had major surgery to our bodies. So you have to handle us a certain way and handle our bodies a certain way and do a lot more than you would to somebody that just didn't have surgery at all and was just trying to come in and get massages. So I hope I explained that a little bit to the best of my ability without trying to tarnish anyone's reputation, trying to tarnish anyone's you know business or anything like that. I just personally decided to go to someone that I felt like um, catered a little bit more to post-op patients, more so than body contouring for non-surgical. Um, also, just to talk about the carboxy shots, they are carbon dioxide injections that treat cellulite, stress marks, and scar tissue underneath the skin. Um, it's basically a natural gas to the body. Um, 
It does have CO2, but it doesn't have any side effects and repairs the collagen in the skin. It does decompose fat tissues as well. So that's why it's super good in conjunction with having all the body contouring packages that she has within herself, um, especially Cavitation Lipo. It's basically like a machine that um, pretty much burns the fat onto the stomach in any areas that you wish. Um, I will probably end up vlogging my entire steps of how she does my body contouring packages because she does so much. Um, and I feel like at the end of it all, she does the carboxy therapy shots and that's what just really helped my stomach. Cause I wish, I really do wish I came on camera and showed you guys my stomach before I got my first treatment with her because that's how bad my stomach was. Like. I really do wish that I did show you guys on camera, but I didn't. But I am able to show you guys my second treatment and on because you guys will be able to see the transition from me looking like this to looking how I always wanted to look. Um, not only that, it does, it is going to help that I'm going to have my Curvy Girls Fajas. They do come in on Monday. Um, so when I add in my Faja to my whole massages and colonic and J-scope and all that stuff, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get my results by the end of June. And that's my goal. So I feel like I have done enough talking, enough rambling. I really do hope I explained everything as best as I can before I went and started doing my vlog portions of the video. So I actually have to get ready to go to my, um, um, second session with Isabel to do my post-op body contouring so I will bring you guys along with me and I actually will record my entire session with her she does take about an hour to an hour and a half per session so if you guys do book with her and you guys did have massages or you guys did have um, surgery done keep that in mind that she does really take her time with her patients but that's good because I love that because I felt like she really cared and she really cares about her patients and her clients and she really talks to you she tells you what's going on she shows you that she cleans every single tool that she has she shows you that she's very sanitary she shows you the new needles every time she does the carboxy shots she's just so like she's everything and more but i will show you guys her when i get there and you guys just tell me if you feel like she's really you know i just love her or i just love her personality but you guys will be able to see that when i go and get my session with her so um without further ado let's go I'm about to get the carboxy um, and the way I can describe it for you guys is basically a needle and a lot of burning sensation so it's practically like burning all my fat cells and my um, scar tissue away um, and she said that my stomach looks so much better than it did two days ago I really 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 wish I showed you guys my stomach two days ago because you will be like I really do wish I um, took pictures or something because now it doesn't even look bad compared to how it did two days ago before I got the carboxy. So I feel like it's really helping. I feel like it's really shutting a lot of that scar tissue away. Um, and obviously her body contouring packages, um, what she offers helps. She first starts with a massage, then she does wood therapy, then she does... Um, the um, cupping, as you guys saw, I look like a little clear silicone cup thing. I believe that's what helps move around any fat tissue or scar tissue around so that um, it breaks up that fat and breaks up the scar tissue. So then when she comes and does, does the um, carboxy, she's able to really um, burn away everything that she basically just massaged up, if that makes any sense for you guys. So now we're just cleaning. 
I am not looking forward to this part. You can see my stomach is so red. Well, this is Isabel, you guys. This is the one that's been doing my body contouring. This is the um, carboxy treatment. These are the needles. She always shows every single time um, she opens up a new package. <laughs> Um, she just always shows every single time she opens up a new needle very sanitary so it's just a small needle like I told you guys and she's basically gonna put the needle in my stomach and then I just burn <laughs> but wait what does it do so what carboxy does is it breaks up lumps scar tissue and fibrosis especially when clients have had liposuction due to the cannula going back and forth that is what's creating the scar tissue and the fibrosis so this oxygen breaks up that tissue and then with the massage it helps it even more in this area you can see there is a lot of fibrosis here so all we do is the needle this very small needle the needle goes in it's nothing to it It's interesting how you can see the oxygen while it's injected it actually creates a little bubble but that bubble will all go away how do you feel burning this burning sensation will go away in a few seconds now we're doing a massage ah! this will help to spread out the oxygen that we just did Oh, that looks crazy. How does it feel? It doesn't hurt. None nearly as much as last time. Last time, even if she touched my sides, I was screaming. It doesn't hurt at all. This is the infrared light that is good for inflammation and also for scar tissue. That's what we're gonna be doing now for her. A video now. Yeah, oh, once you start her with one, <laughs> you, you can't stop her. <laughs> Same thing with pictures. Don't be near her when she wants to take a picture. <laughs> You'll be there till next year taking pictures of the same pose too. <laughs> it's like my friends. <laughs> I haven't seen one like that. Oh, okay. Relax. So you just relax. She's wearing her protective glasses so that the UV light doesn't do any damage. Red light is done. Now we're moving on to cavitation. How would you describe cavitation like that? Cavitation is uh, being done, number one, to burn fat. Number two, to break all the scarf tissue and also really, really help with the fibrosis. Okay. If you had to rate my fibrosis from one to five, how severe is it? I would say yours is seven right now. I say one five, she said seven. <laughs> they are this area here. Yeah. Or this here and then here and also around your waistline. Mm -hmm. Why so much around your waistline? Because that's where they try to make that beautiful body an hourglass. Mm -hmm. That's where they're trying to control your body, make your waist smaller. Is it normal to get fibrosis? Most likely, every time you get uh, liposuction done, yes, you do. Oh. And especially if it's not treated on time. It will, I will say it will happen, let's say like 75%. It can be, uh, uh, you can avoid it. It depends who's giving you your massage, how often you get your massage, that's very important. I get massage like every day. Okay, sometimes it's not getting the massage every day. You have to understand that your body has to go through a healing process. Mm -hmm. 
It doesn't mean because you had 20 massage over there in Miami, one every day, and then when you come here, that doesn't mean that you don't need no more massage. Remember, your body go through different stages. Your body is not healed at least in one year. It goes through a lot of changes between three to six months. You're not going to be completely comfortable. After six months, that's when you're going to be yourself again. And even though it's good from time to time to wear your faja, you don't get rid of your faja. Like some people say, not some people, I'm sorry. Uh, a few physicians say, I only wear your faja for one month. No, that's not true. Mm -hmm. You have to wear your faja. Why? Because it's help you with the inflammation. Not only that, it's really help you to give a nice shape to your body. Mm -hmm. I like my faja. That's how I got the made. Uh, faja contour? No, it's similar to that though. I think that someone told me about uh, Curvy that it's another, another name. Well, they have one in, in DR. Mm -hmm. Someone just told me today. I think the name is Alexander, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How come I don't want to build Hillary Ringo? Good. I was waiting for you to say that. Why? Oh. Oh, God. I basically hear ringing in my ears. And I don't. Why, does, why do I hear that? Because this is a good cavitation machine. Not for nothing, but it is, it is very good. You hear it, but I don't. It's like... Someone taking a ring. Yes, it's like loud ringing in my ears. Oh my goodness! All right, you guys, I'll be back when we move on to the next stage. Now we're doing compression. It basically just sucks you in, and we do this for like thirty minutes. It's like someone's like hugging me mad tight for like 30 minutes long. <laughs> yes she I have a few questions for her but first thing is how often should you get colonics Okay, so typically we would suggest when you first start out, or if it's been a very long time since you've cleansed your colon, try to do three sessions clustered close together. Like three sessions within the first seven to 10 days is optimal. That allows the water to travel uh, as far as possible through your colon. The less meals you have in between your sessions, the further the water can travel. Now beyond those three, People who are healthy and they have no special requirements or goals, one session per month is usually quite um, sufficient. Uh, you know, listen, we, we wash our hair, we get our nails done perhaps more than once a month, we wash our, why aren't we cleaning our insides at least once a month, mm -hmm. okay? Now, if someone has more lofty goals, like they're attempting to lose weight or they're trying to help their bodies to reverse a disease such as diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, cancer, MS, lupus, etc. They may come in more frequently. We may see them weekly. We may see them bi-weekly. 
uh, sometimes they come in multiple times a week. But mm -hmm. with that said, at minimum once per month. When you keep the colon clean, the body's natural metabolism speeds up and the body stores less fat, period. Mm. You know, so when you combine that with the uh, surgery that you got, the elective surgery that you got, that helps you reach those goals a lot quicker. Now, when we as females do not move our bowels as productively as we should on a daily basis, it contributes to an increased risk of breast cancer. Not to mention, of course, the increased risk of, increased risk of colon cancer. Mm. So, you got a few things against you. One, black female, because we have a higher rate of colon, colorectal deaths than anyone. But also, as a young adult, as a young adult in your 20s and 30s, I hate to, um, to recognize this, but you all also have a higher incidence of colorectal deaths. It's amazing, more so than people who are like your mother's and grandmother's age. And I think it had a lot to do with um, dietary I think um, eating, a, a kind of growing up on like fast foods and not having home cooking. Now also what we have to do is keep the colon moving, keep it moving. Every single day we should be moving our bowels, period. Mm -hmm. I don't care what definition you find yeah, in the and medical I did book, <laughs> what definition of how often you should move your bowels. Listen, we should be moving our bowels as often as we eat a significant meal. Mm -hmm. Period. So you don't believe in the people that feel like they should only do colon cleanses like twice a year? Certainly people who have their own ideas of what they should do. I, I say, look, do what works for you. But see, I'd, I'd be but, clogged up. But, exactly. So you have to do what works for you. So if your friend is doing one thing, your friend ain't going to be in that room getting that chemo with you. Mm -hmm. you got to take care of you. Okay. So if you know that, hey, when I clean my colon, I get up from that table feeling late and, and healthy and vivacious. Girl, I'm excited. And my belly, my belly we goes We're excited down. because we know our pain. Right. So. Do that as often as you want to, as often as you need to for your health and wellness. I'm going to get her started. He can answer at least one of your questions while I get her started. Oh, he camera shot. We can't put the camera on him. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is. What? Not, My not, diet not, is not, terrible. What, what, that, that's, that's it. See, uh, uh, all the reason why you come in more here. More right. Often. Because, um, see, I'm the second part of Cheryl. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now she'll get you started. Diet and nutrition. Fresh, right. It's diet and nutrition. Okay. Well, how much fiber do you need? Not a lot. Not enough. That's the key. That's the key. If you want to go to the bathroom, you got to take that fiber. It's to the point where I would drink coffee to be able to go to the bathroom. That, 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 well, well, yeah, and that's bad. Because she yelled at me because I had coffee when I went to get my massage. She was like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not good. Because that, that's, that's on good. contact sugar that they're putting inside of that mixture. Well, right. That's what I was explaining to her. Mm -hmm. That's fat that, right there. And the reason why you can't is because of high fructose corn syrup. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay? I told you about that. <laughs> right? As far as food. Now, when have you had a meal that somebody cooked from, from scratch? I think... Oh, we mean scratch scratch? Yeah, yeah, I mean from scratch. Go out and get some greens and stuff like that. And put I've been cooking. Up. Huh? I've been cooking. Yeah, but, but now, see now you got to You're going to call it processed. It, well, yeah, everything pretty much processed. Box. Yeah, comes in the box, in the bottle, you know. That's that's what it is. I might just be a vegetarian. Huh? Well, well here, here's the thing. I have to your yeah, you, you, can, you, you can you can be a, 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 you know, you could eat meat a little bit, but yeah. you got to find out where your meat is coming from. Okay, so every time you go to the bathroom, right, what you're doing, you're getting rid of toxins. See, mm. you have toxins in your body. What about organic? Yeah, we, that, that's yeah, what you should be doing. I've been buying all organic stuff. Okay, but, you definitely but, go that route. Yeah, but what you also want to do when you buy organic is that you want to make sure that it's third party verified. And what, it, what I mean by that, you might see organic on there. Mm -hmm. Right, but then you can have another little box like it's green, right? Seal. Goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like a square little box underneath, right? And it's mm -hmm. green, like a, a plant, right? That means that it has been third party verified. Somebody else came in and, and, and verified that it is organic plus, you know, no toxin, no, you know, mm -hmm. it hasn't been sprayed, you know, because right now they have the part where. You know, they take people that, that, toxins that, on that yeah, well, they, they'll spray good food like greens, cabbage, whatever it is. Yeah. But if they spraying that, right, 
then now you're eating toxins. Mm -hmm. That's why you pray over your food. Mm. Because whatever you eat is gonna become a part of you. Oh. What you eat, you 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 are is what you eat, right? So and then the thing that you ate had something to eat, right? So now you get something off you know, second hand. Devil, you better yeah. preach right? devil portion, so, yeah. Right. Devil portion. And, and the key thing that you oh. you want to remember, water is the key. Yeah. Like she said, right? You have to drink water when you don't think you're thirsty. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you can be dehydrated, don't know, don't have a clue. That's because of the way the food that you eat. Yeah, all day long throughout you, the day. Yeah, you, you got to sip water, you got to drink water. And, and, and another key thing about water is that those bottled waters and things like that, you, you're going to have to get some uh, pure water. I drink Fiji. Now, let me tell you something. All of those that they done been through all them don't mean nothing. Actually, it ain't too much better than what you get out the tap. Mm. So what, what I tell her, and you, you guys can try it out, okay. uh, up in um, King of Prussia, mm -hmm. they got a place there where they have the steel water, they have spring water. It's a big, you know, and it's in glass jars. See, and you got BPA uh, uh, on, on, on those little bottles, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? See, yeah, so what happens is if it's that, you know, real soft plastic, right? If it sit out in the, in the car or something, get a little warm, Ooh. right? Now those things have over a thousand different toxins in that water. Mm -hmm. In that water, so you want to probably get up to um, King of Pressure, buy you a five gallon jug, a container, and and it's, and, and it's glass, mm -hmm. which is that's that's what you want, and uh, you get a dispenser and put it on, on top, right? And then you can just get your water. Now you're gonna get pure water. Pure water. Mm. Okay. That's what pure water. Yeah. I mean, you could take maybe. Uh, what about using their own filtration system yeah, at home? Yeah, you could, but that ain't really, you know, it's, it's, not a real deal. Right, right. <laughs> but there are ways that you can do that. You know, you, you it's a way you can do it. Now, I don't think you want to go through all the trouble of doing it, but you know, but if you on the go, you know, you can go up there and get a. A five, you know, it many as you want, really. You know what I mean? But that's what you want to try to keep up with. Okay. Mm. Key. So, okay. Water, colon. Boom. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So it's the next morning. Um, I'm going to be doing my measurements for you guys on camera. I actually had to go and buy a measuring tape from Michaels really quick. So let me just go ahead and grab it. And then I'm just going to take my um, J scope off and then do my measurements for you guys on camera. So this is what my waist is looking like with the J-Scope today. I actually do have in my boards and my phones in the back. So with me having all that stuff in, um, this is how it's looking. It looks so good for me to still have that all in. Let me turn around. I look still super snatched and I have all my stuff in. So let me just take it all apart. Let me pull this down. And I do have my Faha on for those that are wondering as well. So I have my Faha, my boards, my foams, and my j scalp in right now. This is what my stomach is looking like. Oh my gosh, it looks so flat. And it's getting so much softer. Like I can rub it like this now. And before, I like to like kind of go inside my belly button to make sure, you know, the hole is still there. But, okay, now you can really start to see my abs and stuff. And let me see on the sides. Oh, it's looking so good. Now you're able to start to see my abs form down the middle. It's looking so good, you guys. It's so flat. It's so flat and it's like it's not squishy but it's not hard like it was so let me just take all of this off and then do my measurements so this is how my stomach looks without any boards in without any foams it's looking so good wow that looks so good and remember this was the side with that pocket that um what's it called that fluid pocket and that's really going down you guys 
Yay, I'm getting so happy. Like, look how skinny I am. Okay, let's see here. I'm hoping for, I don't know. I don't know what I'm hoping for, but let's see. Oh, I have not, oh my gosh. I'm going to die. No, not really. I'm gagging right now. I have not, oh my gosh. Let me get like a good close up for you guys. You guys see that? What does that say? What does this say? Come on, focus. Y'all see this? What does that say, sis? What does that say? Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited. Okay, let me do my lower. I don't even remember what my lower was yesterday, but whatever it was yesterday, now is a 35 for my lower. And my upper, I forgot what my upper was yesterday too. But now my upper is a 35 and a half. So I have to look back at my footage to see what my measurements were um, yesterday. But all I know now, my under boob is showing. Under, all I know now is my waist is a 30 freaking two. I, my, what did I tell y'all my goal was yesterday? What did I tell you my goal was yesterday? To be between a 32 and a 29. Give me a couple more weeks on this regimen. It's about to be over. Yes, I am so, I have not been a 32. I have not been a 32 and I don't know how long. And some people, cause some people be in the twenties and shit. I told y'all I'm a thick, brawlic, big back, just all around thick type of girl. It just, it is what it is. And I haven't been a 32 in my world. In my world, a 32 to me is like a 27. <laughs> I am so excited. Okay, so let me put my stuff, my pants off on now. Let me put my stuff back on and my J-scope on and all that. And then um, I'm going to do my closing of everything. I am so excited. I can't stop smiling. But let me go ahead and put everything back on and then I'll do my closing for you guys. This entire surgery journey has been pretty for the most part stressful for me like i feel like it's gone as smooth as it could possibly go meaning that i got so much surgery done at once i got my 360 lipo i got a breast reduction and a lift and i also got my arms lipoed um on my biceps so because i got everything done at once it was pretty rough for me. Maybe if I got one and then one and then one, it wouldn't have been as bad. But you know, I wanted to be balls to the wall and get all my surgery done at one time. So I already knew I was gonna be stressed the hell out. I think that's why my surgery took to me so much harder than other people I know that got surgery. Um, because I got everything done at once. I got three procedures at once practically. So, um, it's for the most part been as good as it's going to get as far as being, you know, post surgery. Um, I've been hanging in there. Everything has been fine. You know, making sure I'm drinking my water. Actually, let me drink some right now. Um, making sure that I'm taking my vitamins, um, getting my colonics and then also waist training. I feel like my um, waist wouldn't have been this small if I wasn't waist training. Like it's to the point where when I first started wearing my J-Sculpt, it was pretty damn tight because you guys knew that I was like a 35, 34. Um, that's how I know that I'm starting to lose inches because now when I put my J sculpt on, I can do it by myself. While before when I put my J sculpt on, I always needed um, another person to help me. But now I can put my J sculpt on all by myself. And when I put it on, it's like, it's not that it's comfortable to where I feel like it's not really sucking my sides in, but it's to the point where I can literally go about my day 
And I can wear my J scope all day if I wanted to. Now again, it is a fitness belt, it's not a waist trainer, but I got it a size um, smaller than I would usually get to work out in so that I can use it to, um, to waist train. Obviously, thank you so much, Jesco, for sponsoring this video. Um, I freaking love your belt. It is amazing. The quality is superb. And honestly, I don't even think I would have been snatched the way I am today if it wasn't for that damn belt. And then obviously, get into colonics. Well, like I told you guys at the beginning of the video, you should definitely pair your colonics with a some sort of tightening waist um, belt that you guys have. Um, obviously, I use my Jesco because the material on it is bomb.com and then also getting your my carboxy shots i get them for the purpose because i have fibrosis in my lower stomach so i'm so freaking happy like i said i have not weighed myself but i am going off of my inches from my stomach i feel like you do a lot more physical appearance with um it's a lot more better it's what am i trying to say it's a lot more better as a visual for me if I can see me losing weight so much that I'm like looking on a scale because I know before when I would weigh myself I would look in the mirror and I feel like I would look exactly the same while if I know that I'm physically looking at myself and losing inches that's how I know that it's actually working that's just me um like I said I'm not going to start to weigh myself until I start to get on um a good uh, fitness journey. I can't wait to start working out because you guys know I'm going to be recording that as well. My ass records everything. <laughs> But yeah, um, I lost two inches since yesterday. Again, I had to look back on my footage because I have no idea what my upper and my lower um, abdomen was. So I know from my lowest part of my waist, I was a 34 yesterday. Now I'm a 32. And I have to see how many inches I lost on my upper and lower because I have no idea. I have to look back on my footage because I forgot what the hell it was. But it was big as hell. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned a lot about what they literally don't talk about and what they don't tell you for post-op patients or just, you know, weight loss things in general. If some people just do not like to work out, some people just don't like to work out, you know what I'm saying? And this is kind of be, this can be an alternative to you by getting your body contouring done, getting your colonics done and all that stuff. For even someone that just wants to lose weight in a matter of a day, like how I did. Um, I definitely do stuff like this or I definitely want to do stuff like this when I know I'm going to have an event the next day and I have to look absolutely snatched. I'll probably do all this um, with the day before before I have my special event. But today I just wanted to show you guys on camera what my regimen is going to be moving forward um, once a week getting my colonics and getting my massages done um so yes i hope you guys enjoyed thumbs up this video tell everyone about this because it's not many videos like this on youtube and i am so happy to give these contents out to you guys because you know people need to know they need to know certain things and i'm here to give it to you guys like i said like comment subscribe tell everyone about this video and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video and also let me know if you guys want to see a nail tutorial um on my nails i went to a new nail tech and i really do like her but you know these are pretty simple than what i normally get so let me guys let me know if you guys want to see my nail vlog i did record it but i'm not going to edit it if you guys don't really care to see it um so yeah can't wait to see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching and deuces